Fancy action now. Lost episode. Groovy. We're good. Okay. Okay. Wow. I never thought we'd Should you put the thing this way so I can always see like if I move yes. off camera? Yes, you're, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right again, Dee. I'm always right. Right again. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is not bad. Hey, everybody. Let's get this out of my face. <laughs> Let's not have it in your face. face. Let's not have it in your face either. Uh, uh, where's off camera? Is that off camera? That's kind of off camera. Okay, yes. Outtakes. Outtakes! Hey everybody, this is LVA Hotoro and the inimitable DZ Zeta. Hi. Model, cosplayer, uh, a superhero, uh, you know, you know, secret agent, we don't know. We don't care because uh, she's fantastic, she's amazing. Uh, she is hilarious. Uh, I was watching some of our other videos that we have made and the facial expressions, because I sit here looking at you, looking at the camera, and I'm not seeing everything that's going on there. The like the 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 you know the 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 malleable kind of amorphous canvas that's going over on, on her face and like weird, you know, I'm like, do you have a tick? I'm like, nah. I was like, she's just like so expressive and so crazy funny. I found myself, once I cut the video, and I was laughing while I was cutting the video, once I edited the video and put it up, and then I put it on, like, you know, we all do. You make the video, you watch yourself, you know, and then you sit in your underwear and eat ice cream or something like that. I don't know, what do you do? But, you know, that's your business. But in my house, um, I like put it up on the big screen and watch the video. And I like, I actually like my own stuff. I know people that make stuff, have a channel, and they're like, yeah, I can't watch my own videos. <laughs> yeah, I watch them like crack cocaine, you know? I just smoke my own videos <laughs> out of a pipe. It's crazy. So, um, I was watching our latest videos, and I'm like, I'm watching DD Zeta, and I'm like, I'm like, you're so expressive, it's insane. I'm like, so crazy. I didn't know your face could move like that. It's, it's crazy, amazing. So, anyway. This is a pickups video. This is kind of a quick fire and forget. Uh, just get, you know, Didi's like, I said, Didi, do you have any time this week? She's like, yeah. I'm like, come over and we'll do a video. I, don't ask me what it's gonna be. I'm like, hey, I just got a bunch of game pickups. I've never done a game pickup video with Didi Zeta. And I'm like, boom, let's let's plant our flag in the sand and uh, bury a treasure and uh, shine an apple and put it on our, put it in our pocket and walk home or something. So, one of the things I just got, which I saw, which was a reasonable price was, this it's a tin sign yes i've joined the the you know the 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 trailer park tin sign community and uh it is fancy amazing we're gonna have Didi over here Didi demanded her own like high profile camera she's like you know rob your videos are a little washed out and we're both pasty as corpses <laughs> so would you give me my own camera that's actually like a better than that you know pro Consumer camera that you've got there, and I said, "Yeah, you can have the good camera. It's fine." Here, you know. Anyway, so here, let's let's see what Dee Dee does with her own with her own crazy camera. She's gonna do her own thing over there. I'll actually put it in the video this time. I, it's like I was watching my videos, and there's so many times I'm lazy where I don't want to get like have to pull out the second memory card and stick it in the credit card reader and download the video and edit it with another video. Oh wow, that's just too much to ask, you lazy fat dude. You know, I'm just like, but the, the picture quality of the other camera is so crazy good. Um, uh, basically what Didi asked for, I obey. Let's just cut to the chase. She, she says, Rob, I think the lighting needs to improve. Well, okay, oh, Didi, I'm buying, I'm buying more lighting. I'm buying more lighting, okay? And then I'll, diva. And then I'll feed my kid. And then I'll feed my kid, okay? Anyway. Lights first. Yeah. She's like, by the way, Rob, yeah, um, the lighting? Okay, good, 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 good. You want me to come back, right? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't see what goes on off camera, yo. You're like, dude, like, she looks so tiny next to that guy, he's huge. And it's like, 
She's totally the boss, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's pathetic. What I say goes. It's pathetic. It's scary. Anyway, Nuka Cola, blast that thirst girl. It's another Fallout 4 thing. Dee Dee has no clue. Um, I'm going to give her another chance and ask her, where does this anniversary, or where, no, not anniversary, but where does this Nuka Cola, Zap Your Thirst woman appear? Is it in Fallout 3 or Fallout 4? <laughs> See, you know, it was funny, it was, I knew she was going to say that because the other one she guessed a Fallout 3 thing was in Fallout 4. So she's like, well, I'm not going to go with my, my, I'm not going to roll the dice again with the bad answer. She's totally walked right into that. Anyway, no, it's Fallout 4, it's Zap Your Thirst, and it's the new game. The new hotness. The new hotness. Anyway, it's so cool, it's so retro, she's so cute. Dee Dee Zadie could totally rock that crap. She could totally do that. She could totally make that. She's like, dude, Rob, the hardest thing, you know what's funny about Dee Dee is like when you work with her, when you consult with her on like what she can do uh, in terms of costuming, which is almost unlimited. <laughs> She'd look at that and go, oh my God, I've got that, 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 that. Uh, all I need is the helmet and some tubes and you know, boom, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I can do that. And she's like that. It's just like, yeah, the boots done. Yep. The outfit done. Yep. Okay, done. Got it. Okay, so I got like kind of a pseudo helmet. It's kind of like an aliens thing, but I'll just convert it in a weekend and yeah, I'm ready. Do you want to do it? You ready? <laughs> she's like, yeah, huh? Okay, <laughs> anyway. All right. She's awesome, Dee Dee Zeta. All right, now before we begin, I'm gonna pull this over slowly. And I forced Dee Dee Zeta to go through like a, a, a primer on exactly what this is. Okay, and for those of you in the gaming community, I'm gonna pull this over there. Ooh, what's this? What's this funny, uh, funny teethy like, like, like shark like mouth contraption? A lot of you know what that is. She doesn't know what that is. And I will, I will explain it to her and bore her to death. Like, I don't have to roofinate her. I just start talking about video games. She's like, uh, oh, <laughs> what, what? Where'd the last hour go? Why are my clothes off now? Ah! It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. The, there really is roofination in the water. Yeah, it's roofinator. Roof, roof, roof of cola. Roof of cola. Anyway, no, uh, it's all cool. It's all good in the hood. Uh, but no, 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 she's like, um, um, it's fun for me to roll this stuff off like a crazy encyclopedia. And there are so many brighter people out there in the world, Adam Karolik. Um, one of the reasons I get into stuff like that was Adam Karolik. Uh, he has uh, Adam K, of course, and he does the all the retro games, mods, you know, how to get your most out of your console. And he taught me about what this is, okay? This is a SCART cable, okay? SCART was the video format in Europe. Inter yes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, SCART takes the video signal right from the board and gives you the pure colors, signals, and resolution that's just a step below, in my mind, and just a step below HD. Dang. So you're pulling 480 almost out of some of these. This is 240 to 480. You know, this really takes your takes your game and takes it to the next level, but typically you're going to have to mod it, right? So this system, it was not, I bought it off of eBay. Okay, so this is like true eBay stories. I bought this on eBay. It was actually bought for me as a Christmas gift. Some a very, very close person, female in my life wanted to get me something for Christmas. And I'm like, yeah, here you go. Boom, here's the listing. And she's like, well, what the hell is that? What is that? Is that, a, is that some kind of a... Don't ask questions. Is that, like an, it. is that like an early prototype of the uh, the Foreman Grill or something? I don't, I don't know what the freak that is. <laughs> and I go, it really doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Just buy it. Just buy it. Here's the listing. Anyway, so it lasted for a couple of months and then it went non-functional on me. And uh, now this is a plug. This is going to be a professional plug for a modder who is, you can find him on eBay, he is Turbo Graphics Fan. And he specializes in Turbo Graphics, Turbo Duo, Turbo Duo R, etc. He'll replace the caps if they need them. Uh, he'll replace the lenses if they need them. 
He'll do a region mod for you if you need to do the region mod. He does LED mods. I asked him to do the whole Pimp My Ride selection on this thing. So it's got a new LED, it's got the region mod, it's it's got the, you know, everything, everything repaired and fixed and all that, and it's ready to go. And it's modded for SCART 2RGB, okay? So you have the, can you spokes model the Turbo Duo R? Knowing how expensive that is, DD. It's about 500 bucks when you consider the mod. Oh, damn. Hey. Hey. It's very expensive. You're yeah. Me, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not a cup holder. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, man. What is that? Is that like an old, like, dot matrix copier? What is that? But anyway, I love the look of this, of this machine. I mean, this is a good looking console, Dee Dee. It looks so good. It's clean lines, doesn't it? Please. Sexy. Please. It is sexy. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. not it's not in DD Zeta zone, but it's it's sexy. Okay, <laughs> like if a car if this was a car, yeah, I roll on that. I roll. Yeah, on that. definitely be it. I'd be like, yeah. be they see me rolling and they hate me. <laughs> All right, but uh, anyway, <laughs> so um, uh, it's a beautiful looking system, and it's more reliable than the original Turbo Duo. The caps are better. Um, you know, and again, when I played it just off of RGB, uh, not RGB, but um, off of composite, it looked amazing in composite. Now I had it on the Vizio that's right in back of me, and it, and it, Vizio upscales really good. And it upscaled it, you know, I, I don't, I do not play it in original resolution. I don't shrink it down to, I play it stretched, and I don't know, I just like it full screen. I love it full screen, I'm a full screener. You know, maybe I should get a new 12 step, but I like my shit full screen. E oh, well, oh, bleep. Even if, <laughs> even if it's meant to, yes, thank you, thank you, Mistress of Pain. <laughs> it, so even if, even if it's meant to be played in the resolution, if I have it on a big screen, I just like, I'll stretch it. I don't care. You know, people, people do that, especially with like shooters and stuff like that. I think sometimes it makes sense, but. I'm not a big purist on that. I'm like, let's go play on the 4 by 3 resolution or you're not getting the true game experience, you know? And I'm like, uh, okay, brother, thanks. You know, have a nice day, here's a dollar. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> so anyway, but what he sent with free, with the mod, well, call it free, you know, it was like 100 and, $166 for the complete mod, but this is a complete mod. You could get out with a region mod for about 60 bucks not including shipping costs, okay? So he did a really nice job on this, shipped it back to me, it looks totally perfect. I have not tried it out yet. Um, this is the SCART cable that he sent. And there's one other thing that you need now, because now that, you know, now this is modded, you have to go through SCART now, so you need a converter SCART to HDMI. And this is something that you've seen on Adam Karolik's video and some other videos of how you get that upscaled. If you get your old consoles modded for SCART, then you have to have the SCART um, uh, HDMI upscaler, which is that box. You know, DD Zeta picks up a cue like nobody's business. She totally gets it. <laughs> okay, snort, sorry, sorry, snort, okay. All right, all right. Get your hair out of your out of your lip ring. There you go. That's what it's there for. It's just hook that hair. Just in case you want to chew it during the day. Anyway. Mm. All right. So this, as is obvious by the ridiculous Chinese packaging. Look at the the, the image. The image on here is like 1985 computer motherboard like mm -hmm. art with like it's blue and there's a globe and there's bubbles and clouds and then a grid and then an arrow. <laughs> it's like somebody just vomited like basic window shapes off of this <laughs> box. Like somebody went into Word and took them all and just was like Bleh! Okay, so Beautiful. yeah, yeah. It's like the future of Tron or something. I don't know what it is. It's like the, the original Tron concept art. But anyway, it's ridiculous Chinese nonsense. And we're just gonna go in there and pull it out. Oh, right. hello. It's very heavy, very substantial. They're all the same. They all came out, come out of the same factory, but there is a wildly different price. If you look around, this one was 35, which with free shipping. And there are other ones out there for 49, 59, eh, eh. And it's the exact same thing. 
It's the exact same. Same unit, same factory, same slave labor. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes, edit. Anyway, so there you go, boom. Wow. Okay, so it's very heavy, it's very substantial, it's got a metal case. Um, and if you can see, I'm gonna just put that up there. It has got a start, a SCART uh, connector. That is the SCART in. So this lead, this regular, like, what is it? Like two, four, six, seven, it's like an eight pin, eight pin round connector it goes into the back of this. This SCART lead goes into the converter box through the SCART input, okay? And then HDMI outs to your TV and you can scale it from 720 to 1080, okay? And it'll choose SCART to HD, there's a coaxial and an audio out, the HDMI out. Now it is powered, so if you look underneath the, uh, the plastic of that case, underneath the white plastic, yeah, oh yeah, there's a little surprise inside. Boom, and of course there's a manual for, for whatever. <laughs> Here, show them the uh, show them this front and back, and especially that start start connector. It is power, which is kind of a drag, um, but you know if you're gonna have a if you're gonna have a um, an upscaler, you know, and Frame Meister of course is the best, but you know they're like five bills. Um, these are these are quite good. Um, the, you know, I've heard of some lag problems, and then again, when I read the reviews, I'm, I'm hearing raving reviews about the quality of the image and the gameplay. So, we are just going to set that right there, and this is something that, I don't know if we're going to hook it up live, we might, but it's an awesome, awesome thing to have, and you have to have this, you have to have this to get from SCAR to your TV with this new mod. Now the other mod, now what I'm gonna ask you to do is, I want you to show them that, that little silver switch on the back. Oh. Now for those initiated and uninitiated into the Turbo Duo and you are, you know that they will play right out of the box without, without a, um, a super card. They will play super C CDs, game CDs, TurboGrafx CDs, um, okay. and super, super CDs. There's some that you need, you still need an arcade card for, but they will play American Turbo Graphic CDs, Turbo CDs. They will play regular, you know, uh, PC Engine CDs and uh, Super CDs right out of the box. So there's no region coding on the disk drive, but there is region coding on the card, the U card, uh, or or in America they were known as Turbo Chips. I thought, I always thought the turbo chips were so cool. You had these big bulky cartridges, and then you had these games that were like the size of a credit card that you could, um, you know, you could uh, um, put into your game system. And just, to me, it was just incredible. And I was telling DD Zeta, and I'll, I'll give you the short version, because again, that was when she like passed out and basically lost about 20 minutes of time, <laughs> was, um, <laughs> it wasn't aliens, it was just, uh, you know, just bored, boredom. Eyes glaze over. Yeah, she was just like, uh, I'm glad she fell backwards, she, just, she would've broke her nose on the table. <laughs> but the, um, uh, uh, back in the day, I got, my mother actually, this is how old the system is, my mother bought me for my birthday at that time, she bought me the TurboGrafx-16 new in a box. And I woke up to it and played Keith Courage for like 10 hours and then I played Legendary Axe. Keith Courage, I was like, never really got that game. I was just like, this is just repetitive nonsense and men that look like 38 revolvers walking around. It was very weird. This is very bizarre for a, for a launch title, and I don't, you know, why they picked that, I, you know, I was just, still to this day. Like, I mean, they should have just done Legendary Axe and leave it at that. I mean, that game was classic. I played a ton of Legendary Axe, and it was a wonderful, wonderful game. I had a great time with it. You know, of course, they always had the stupid one controller. You had to go get a turbo tap to play multiple players. Um, that, to me, was always a jip, but they've always been like that for some reason. NEC, they just will not put a double controller on there. Uh, I think the PC FX was the only one that allowed for that. But at any rate, so 
back in the day to get like the turbo CD and the converter and then there's the 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 the, the CD card and then there was the super CD card and the super super CD card and it was like I told Didi it was like back in the day it was like bootleg it was like you had to go to a, a show and talk to a guy in a rusty van you know who was out in the parking lot who had the converter and you know it was like yeah man I got the super CD card man yeah what do you got what do you got you know, it was like shit. And she said, yo, it was kind of shady. I go, yeah. It was like, it was a little bit of a shady deal, man. It was like, you just couldn't walk into a store and get the CD attachment and all that. My CD attachment was from some other guy who traveled to Japan and brought it over. And he, he had an extra one. He sold me that one. And he's like, well, you got to talk to this guy to get the converter because my con converter is bad. I'm going to give it to you. And I like jury rigged it and like taped it and like comp I had to compress it. And it actually worked. Like the board was cracked and when the boards would meet, it would work. And it was just crazy. It was loony, you know. It was like, oh my god. And then I got another converter, and I just thought I was like Pimp Daddy Kane. And uh, I'm like, yeah, man. And it was just like. And then when I got my very first uh, CDs and had real anime in my games and real video cutscenes, that was the yeah. I mean, that was the first time that you got real animated, acted, voiced in English video cutscenes. It was just stupid. Dragon Slayer. I mean, Dragon Slayer, the intro to that, I used to just play the intro, I'd get up in the morning and play the intro, just because it was just, it was beautiful. The music, you had like orchestrated music, arranged music, and it was just fantastic. So this game system is, is, is very special to me in general, just for the memories. And I had a lot of my, like, uh, it was like the underground Turbo Graphics Club. Uh, a lot of my buddies were involved in that. There was a lot of like, you know, glad hand in here. Yeah, here's your turbo tripper. So it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. And this game is amazing. And there's so many cool games for the system. I've always been a fan of Turbo Graphics Sixteen. I've always been a fan of uh, NEC as a game company. I wish they would come back. A lot of people are like, you yeah, get the Dreamcast Two and all this other shite, you know. And I'm like, well, you know what? What about another NEC game system? I would love that. I would totally give it a chance. So. Um, yeah, I am anxious to hook this up, and if we do, we'll do like a little jump cut, and I'll splice it into the video, and uh, you know, we can actually see some actual gameplay of, with all this bootleg nonsense, of the, the Turbo Duo R. Right, okay. The R.